Alright guys, welcome to another video and in this one we're going to be making Grinch kebabs. Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah, so we decided we wanted to do a healthy Christmas snack because Christmas and uh, all the food around Christmas is so unhealthy at times. You know, there's a lot of sweets and cookies and candy and cakes and things like that. So we decided to make something a little healthier. So we're going to be using fruit and a cheese stick. So yeah, so uh, let's get started with uh, showing you the supplies. We have our little Grinch guy over there to supervise. Ha <laughs> ha. Anyway guys, let's get started. All right, everyone. So what we have here is the ingredients that you're going to need to make your Grinch kebabs. And like Lammy mentioned, this is a healthier option, but still Christmas themed to keep with the spirit. So what you're going to need is green grapes, which represents the Grinch's skin. You're going to need strawberries, which will represent his Santa hat, as well as slices of a banana that also will represent part of the Santa hat, and a cheese stick. Now the original recipe called for mini marshmallows, not as small as the ones that we used in our um, hot chocolate ornament video, but the ones that are a little bit bigger, like this size, but we thought, why add any extra sugar in this? Let's just add a little bit of cheese. Now, you can cut the cheese in little increments, which is what we're going to do, and you'll see in a minute why, but you could also, if you have those marshmallows in your house, just go ahead and use those. So, here we go. I'm gonna move the little Grinch guy over. Why not? He wants to watch. Oh, is he gonna supervise me? Yeah. Okay, anyway. So we have already washed our grapes and strawberries, so make sure that everything is washed. And we're just going to reach in this bag and I'm going to pull out one grape for now because I wanna show you first how it's done. So here we have one green grape. Then you're going to take a strawberry. I'm gonna choose this one right here. And what you're going to do is you're going to cut the strawberry, kind of like you're cutting it in half, because you want this pointy bit here. So I'm gonna cut the strawberry like that. I'm gonna move that stuff to the side. So now that is going to represent your Santa hat. Now, you're going to need to open your banana and you're going to cut this in small sections as well, just flat sections. So I'm gonna cut the tip off, okay? And then I'm gonna have a sliver about that wide. So I'm gonna move that to the side. So there's that part. Next, we're going to move on to the cheese stick. The cheese stick, I'm just going to cut small little pieces as well. I do admit that I think that the marshmallow idea would turn out cuter, but for the sake of trying to be a little healthier, you're gonna get some uh, protein from the cheese. So move that off to the side. So this is basically what you need to make a Grinch kebab. Then you're going to take toothpicks, just regular wooden toothpicks. If you have plastic ones, that's fine. You take your toothpick and then you add these things on here in a layer. So there's your toothpick. First you start with the Grinch's, basically his face. You stick it through there like that. Then you're going to take your thin piece of banana and put that on. That represents this white part of his hat. Then you take the strawberry. Now, this might happen to you. See how the strawberry isn't going all the way down on here? That's because it is too tall. So if that happens, it's no big deal. Take your knife, make sure you get your parents' help, you guys, and you just cut it so it is shorter. So that will solve that problem. And then it goes on there like that, and see how the toothpick came out the top? That's what you stick your cheese onto. So this, everyone, is your very own Grinch kebab. So the green is his skin, and then his Santa hat. So it's just little Grinch kebabs. So if you had a bunch of these laying on a plate at Christmas time, like for a Christmas party or something, I think that would be super adorable. Here, let's see what it looks like. Yep, I see it. Lammy, do you see it? Oh yeah, Mom, it looks exactly like him. Yep. So there you have it, guys. A very simple, healthy way. You could put this um, in your lunch for school. You could take it to a Christmas party. You could have it at your Christmas party. You could do this on Christmas Day for people to snack while they wait for dinner to cook. There's so many different you know, things you could do with this. It's just a fun little thing to make. Make sure your hands are clean because you will be touching a lot of food. And that's it. Lammy, you want to come over and take a look at it? Yep, I'm coming. 
Wow, guys, that does look just like the Grinch. I really like them. So yeah, it's a healthier alternative, and I think what I plan on doing is I'm gonna go watch the Grinch. Uh, we have the DVD, so I think we're gonna watch it. I like the cartoon version, but I also like the version that Jim Carrey did many years ago. So yeah, I think maybe I will make more of these, and we'll go watch that on TV. What do you think, Mom? We can do that. All right, awesome. So anyway, guys, have you ever made these before? What do you think? It's such a simple recipe, isn't it? I love it. So yeah, leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think. Be sure to subscribe. I've got more videos coming. And uh, yeah, I'm so excited. Ha ha ha. We should leave one out for Sprinkles. Yeah, Sprinkles would probably like one. Yeah, let's leave one out for him. He can eat it. All right, we'll do that. Okay, guys, so anyway, um, follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter for updates on Sprinkles and his hijinks and what he's up to. And uh, yeah, I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys.